Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. We are working on Chow Bella's Notre V and we're working on page four and five and these are going to be mirror images of each other so I'm going to build them at the same time. All the measurements are going to be the same. You're just going to install left or right depending on which page you're on and I will help you with that as we move along. Okay, that goes there and I don't need that right now. This. Okay, so we're going to have um, a flap that is four, four by eight, four by eight. You're going to square a half inch on the four inch side. You're going to do that two times, once for page four and once for page five. Okay, I'm trying to think of how this is all going to interact. Okay, and then, uh, so let's go ahead and just install these left and right. Page four is gonna be on the left side, page five is gonna be on the right side. Four by eight, four by eight, square half inch on the four inch side. Excuse me, I thought I was gonna sneeze, but. Okay, again, four by eight on the right hand side. Okay. Now we are going to install a four and a half by six, four and a half by six, square half inch on the four and a half inch side. Um, we're gonna install one on the, on the right side, one on the left side, and we're gonna center these. So how I center, my method is to find the midpoint of the pocket page, which should be four inches down from the top or up from the bottom, depending on how you want to look at it. And then also find the midpoint on this flap. It's six inches, so it should be three inches from the top or bottom. Now all I have to do is line up these two marks. Everybody has their own method. That's the way I like to do it the best. I find I have better results this way than if I try to find three inches down from the top. Okay. So I just line up those two dots. There we go. Now I'm gonna use my magic eraser real quick and take that dot off because it's gonna show through the, uh, it'll be part of the border. <clears throat> okay, now let's do the same thing on page five. Find our midpoint. One more time. Okay, let's get our orientation back. So our larger flaps are on the left side for page four, on the right side for page five. Okay, now I have a pocket that's gonna go on top of um, this flap. So we're gonna have one here and one here. Now, I'm not building this like a typical pocket. What I've done is I've taken a piece and I've scored it, and I'm just gonna glue these two edges to create that pocket. So I'll tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need an eight and a half by seven, eight and a half by seven, and then you're going to score at three and a half inches, three and a half inches, and then you've got your pocket. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue my pocket closed. You're going to want as thin a bead of glue as possible. I recommend glue over tape because whatever you insert into your pocket may get hung up on the tape. Now, alternatively, you could build a pocket with a flange, but I just decided to do it this way. Okay, just a nice thin bead of glue. And close that up. Okay, now we've got a pocket. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for page five. Add your glue to the short side.
Okay, now this pocket is going to get installed like so, but we're not gonna do that until we get our designer paper down. So it is gonna look like this on page five, the pocket is gonna open to the right. On page four, the pocket is going to open to the left. So we're not gonna install those right now because we've gotta get our designer paper down here. And then once we get that designer paper in, we will place this pocket and behind the pocket, there will be a magnet and the opposing magnet will be on the small flap, the smaller of the two. So we'll wind up with a magnet here and somewhere on the back side of that pocket, like so. So I'm just gonna draw my little circles Oops, needs to be over here. As my little reminders not to forget my magnet before I put my designer paper down, which I've already done once today. So it doesn't go on this side, it goes on this side. So hopefully before I put any paper on here, I'll look at that and go, oh yeah, I need a magnet. So that's it for now. When we get back together, we will decorate these. Be right back. Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page four and five of um, No Trivi. So let's get started. I think I've got everything trimmed out and ready to go. I'm gonna set aside page five. Let's get going on page four. Okay, now hopefully you remember when we were cutting all the pieces that um, we've got this pocket that needs to be installed on the flap after we add our designer paper. So this designer paper is from one of the 12 by 12 collections, and I told you earlier that I kind of scrambled them up, so I'm not sure which one anymore, if it's from the pattern or from the collection pack. Ah, sorry, I wish I hadn't done that, but it's, it's really impossible for me to tell um, where it came from. I'm gonna have to go back and look at it uh, online. <clears throat> okay, so that is in. So then also, I've got this, and this is from the A4 collection pack. And I can tell because of the tags and stuff on the back. And everything we do on page four, we're gonna repeat on page five, the patterns. Okay. Oops, I almost blew it. There's my circle, so I gotta slow down. Let's go ahead and um, cover this, and then we're gonna install it. So I'm gonna set that aside for a second. I've trimmed out this paper, and it's from the eight by eight collection pack. But you could use whatever you want. Just pick something that's um, got brown tones in it, and it'll work. And this just happened to be a scrap from something else. So this is going to go right here. It's hard to tell looking through, looking at the video, but this is a pocket right here. So it's just going right up to the edge of the pocket. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. It's going to get installed right here. There we go. And then I've got inserts trimmed, and these are four and a quarter by six. And it just happens to be four and a quarter because, I'm sorry, I said four and a quarter. It's four by six, and that was the size of the scrap that I had. So it's four by six, and it's gonna go right inside like so. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing we're gonna do is, that still needs to dry some, is this is going to get installed here. What we're looking for is an even border all the way around. And that's gonna look, that looks good. So I'm gonna do what I normally do and draw my little corner. Then we're gonna flip it end over end. And I'm gonna draw my two cheat lines so I know that the glue goes right along here. Now I'm going to look for my little corner that I 
scribbled in that I can't see now. Oh, there it is. It's up here. Okay. Nudge it to cover up my pencil mark. Okay, that looks good. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is locate our magnet. So you need a set of magnets. Which I now have laying everywhere. <laughs> I think I did that before I took a break. Okay, we're going to use our thick tape, which is um, 5 eighths, so just a little over a half inch. Okay, close that. Pick up our magnet. There we go. Okay, so now we can get back to covering this. Again, this is from the A4. like so. And the flip side is we're pulling this um, this pattern back in. All right, so now we're going to do this large surface here. This is from the A4 pack. Ugh, is that right? It has to be. Uh, I'm not real sure. I think it's from the A4 pack. I'm looking. No, it's from the 12 by 12. This is from the 12 by 12 collection. No. Sorry, I'm, I'm waffling. This must be A4 because it's a smaller scale than this. So yeah, so this is from the A4 pack. I'm going to apply, first of all, I'm sorry. This is also from A4. I'm gonna apply this first and then I'm going to trim this out to fit here and here, and then we'll still have to come up with a piece to cover the back of this. And I'm gonna look for more of this pattern so that I can continue the pattern, okay? So there we go. Let's go ahead and ink this one in, and then we will trim the other piece to fit. This has to be, yeah, this is definitely from the 12 by 12 because it's six inches wide and I split it in half to go on the other side on page five. Okay, so we are going to mark this, trim off our strip that's going to fit between here and here. So just a little bit of color 
color blocking. And yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta check that again. It looks very crooked. So I made it may have made a mistake. Hmm. Nope, that's right. Okay. Luckily, it's kind of a watercolor, so it's not going to be obvious. Okay. And that's fine. Okay, good, good. Let's let that dry for a second. I forgot to mention, the this is actually from the 8x8 collection pack, so the insert pins are from the 8x8 collection pack. Now I want this pattern to be continuous, so I'm going to trim from this side. There we go. Okay, now I gotta find a piece to cover the back of this pocket, and I'll be right with you. Okay, I had some more of this paper left, so I'm gonna I trim that out, and it's gonna go right here. off the tape it feels nope it's there didn't feel like it was sticking okay there we go so there's a nice pretty layout it's very soft it goes like that like that and then of course we have our four by six insert here okay I thought it was nice the pens went with the library and the writing and anyways that's page four so that's finished Let's go ahead and start on page five. So it's all the same. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is lay in this piece and then we can cover the pocket and then add the pocket to this flap. Thank you. 
by 12, A4. I'm going to continue with the 12 by 12 pattern. What am I doing? There's supposed to be a magnet under here. So because it's not under here, <laughs> Under this paper, we're gonna have to put it here. I got out of seat sink, so it goes here. Okay, and we're gonna use our tape to cover it. All right, and then we will find um, once we place our pocket here, we'll add it to the back of that. So that's my keeper, and then I can go ahead and put this down. But not really, I need to take the tape backing off first. Now I can put it down. I think I'm okay. I think it's still wet enough to place. Yep. Okay, now I'll add this magnet so I don't forget to add it to the pocket. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's set this all aside for a second and do the pocket. Okay, and then we have our 4x6 insert. This is from the 8x8. That's going to fit in just like so. Now we are ready to add our magnet. So as we did with the last one, we're looking for an even border. It's a half inch all the way around. I'm going to trace in my corner. Then we're going to end over end and add our glue. Okay. And then that's where our adjoining magnet's going to go after it's glued down. It didn't look very straight. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to use, oh, where is my Tim Holtz ruler? I've moved it. I think that looks about right. Yeah. Go ahead and commit. Okay. 
Now I've got my magnet here, so I'm just going to find its location on the pocket. Like so. Okay. I'm going to use this pink, which pulls this back in. It needs to be trimmed just a bit. Okay, right on. Let's add some ink and glue this down. Okay, now as we did on the other one, we are going to turn this right side up. <laughs> And it's going to get installed on the left hand side and then we're going to trim out the green to fit. I'm pretty sure this is from the 12 by 12 uh, pattern pack. Now we've got this. I'm actually going to trim this side first, then trim our narrow piece second, because it's really not that narrow. There's plenty to hold on to in the trimmer. I think this is pretty and then when one side's you know closed it sort of pulls it all together So now this is going to go here and we just want a little bit of a line between the two. Okay, I like it.
When you're continuing the pattern, just pay attention to which side you're trimming. So there is page four, page five. We've got our inserts, four by six. The pocket page opens up, and then these two open up as well. Okay, page four, page five, all done.